Hi everyone, Everything Retro 1980 here and today we're going to be checking out the digital vinyl CDR. Let's have a look shall we? These digital vinyl CDRs can store 80 minutes worth of your music. As well as looking like vinyls, these also come in different colours such as red, purple, yellow, green and blue. If you're wondering, you can put your music on these as easy as a normal CDR or even as normal as a CDRW. How good is the sound quality on these? Well, they're just as brilliant as a normal CD. Okay, so let's compare two CDs together. One is from the store, this one, Kaiser Chiefs, and two, Arcadia So Red The Rose Special, which is recorded on the PC. Let's put in the Kaiser Chiefs one first. Let's turn the volume up and press play. Okay, and now let's compare the um, vinyl CDR, Arcadia So Red The Rose Special, recorded on PC, and let's press play. So obviously, in my opinion, they sound just as good as each other. Um, in my opinion, they're, they're brilliant sounding, you know, you can put anything on here. So, you know, in my opinion, I highly recommend them. The cons of the digital vinyl CDRs is that you really haven't got much room to write anything, you know. Um, so that's kind of annoying. The other con is that the cases they come in is very plasticky. I mean, you could do that and they would just break. Um, luckily this isn't broken, but yeah. So that's two things that I don't really like about these. Um, the pros are that they're brilliant, they sound good, they look good. Um, they do sell other um, digital vinyl CDRs where they don't have this bit, the silver bit on it. Um, where it's all just black, which looks amazing, which I might try and review on the channel soon. So maybe I'll call it Digital Vinyl CDR Part 2. Okay, these have been the Digital Vinyl CDRs, and I have been Everything Retro 1980. See you soon, guys, in the next video. Bye!